It's been one month since the Boston bombings, and many victims' lives have been forever changed. I used to run. I'm hoping that at some point, through the prosthetic process, I'll get back to running at some point. Sandy Page would also like to get back to running. These days, she's hiking and spinning, but it's been a long road to recovery. Sandy's leg was amputated after she was diagnosed with bone cancer. She was only 13. There's times that you're not happy that you have one leg, but you have to do what you have to do, and it's not going to change. Still to this day, she works closely with Bill Sampson and his team over at the Prosthetic and Orthotic Lab in Schenectady. It's been very challenging, but rewarding, and, uh, and we're just continuously trying to uh, use new technology uh, to bring this person back to pre-amputation levels of activity. Constant education and new technology has allowed Samson's offices to provide patients with cost-effective and state-of-the-art devices. Forty years later, cancer-free and over a dozen prostheses, Sandy says it's about acceptance and attitude. Every morning you get up, you put it on and you go. It's really comfortable. I've had it so long that it really seems like it's part of me. You either sink or you swim. You either go on with a good attitude and make the best of a bad situation or you can sit in a chair and become nothing. And what did you choose to do? Well, I chose to swim. <laughs> in Schenectady, Jennifer Mullen, CBS 6 News.